Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. After release this iOS 18.1 public beta 3, right after a few hours of iOS 18.1 developer beta 6. So in this video, I'm going to talk about all the new features that are out with the public beta 3. Also, the update size is about 7.36 gigabyte as you can see. The update size depends on that from which iOS version you are coming and what iPhone you are using. So on my other iPhone, I am on 18.0.1. This is why it is showing this much big uh, update size. Well, it is not going to take any extra storage. It is going to completely uh, rewrite your iOS, so no worries about that. So how you can install this update is quite simple. You need to go to settings. Into the settings, you need to go to journal. You need to go to software update. And from here, you need to set beta updates to the iOS 18 public. Go back and you will see the update. I will not see the update because I have already installed it. If I go back and go back to the about section and show you the build number, it is 22B5069A. As you can see, at the end of this build number, there is A, which means we are very close to the final release of iOS 18.1. And we can expect it soon i will also talk about the release date of ios 18.1 in this video now let's talk about what are all new features that are available with the ios 18.1 public beta 3. first of all now in the notifications now there is account number available as you can see over here next to the icon of specific app uh, the account number is available for example there are two notifications from reminders there is two there are four notifications from youtube studio there is four and this is how it looks like it can be helpful for some pe people when there are a lot of messages and you can get to know about that, that how many messages are there so yeah it can be useful for some people but this is a simple slight change that is available with the 18.1 public beta 3. Now going to the next is in the control center. Now there are new toggles available for the airdrop and satellite. When you tap on this plus, when you tap on this plus button over here, go to add a control, go to the connectivity. You will see a new airdrop toggle over here as you can see. Before this airdrop toggle was not available, I was using airdrop through a shortcut but now it is available and when you tap and hold this you will get these three options receiving off contacts only everyone for 10 minutes so it is quite useful i don't have to use shortcut anymore now it is available also when you go again to the add a control section over here now there are new toggles available for Meyer app. So let me go over here. These are the new toggles available Meyer and level from the Meyer app. So it can also be quite useful. The new customization of control center is really, really great. It is enhancing productivity a lot and I'm really liking the new features and the and how third party apps can also get into this like lookup or many different applications. For example, Instagram, Groupal or Fitness View, Fantastical, lot more. So I really liking that now the control center is insanely, insanely customizable, which is really, really great. Now going to the next feature is that now the sleep apnea notifications are available in the 18.1 public beta 3. Now moving to the next one, there are few changes with the Apple intelligence. Unfortunately, I cannot show you, but in the Apple intelligence, I can now there is pen available. Unfortunately, I cannot show you because that are only available for the 15 Pro and up to the latest iPhone. Also, Apple Intelligence in mail is available where you can summarize the mail, rewrite the mail and use writing tools in mail, which is also a slight change. The people who use Apple Music, now they can share music directly to the TikTok, which is a nice update, nice integration. I hope Apple Music was available in my country so I could show you, but it is not available in my country. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting that when it will come to my country. So these are some of the changes that are available with the iOS 18.1 public beta 3. And I hope that you like this video. And I think you should go and install this update if you're already using iOS 18 public beta 2 or iOS 18 uh, developer beta 5 
Also, I ran a Geekman score right after updating uh, the device. So, let me go to the Geekman over here and show you the score. So, it is 2291 on a single core, while 5494 on a multi core. So, as you can see, it is slightly better than single core and slightly better in multi core too. It is important thing to understand that whenever a new iOS update comes, it takes a couple of days to get get better. So even uh, when iOS 18.1 public beta 2 slash beta 5 was out, the scores were not really good. Scores were very low. Even in multi-core, they were lower than the average one. But later, after using it for a couple of days, public beta 2 slash developer beta 5 of 18.1 gets much better even it gave me the best ever score in multi-core so since these scores are also low because the iOS is just out i do believe they will get better in a couple of days as the iOS will start um, stabling so it is a really good news that ios 18.1 uh, public beta 3 is also out and out with lots of features and talking about what we can expect next what is going to come next is something i want to talk about too so by mark german it is uh, confirmed that ios 18.1 is going to release on 28th of october which is really nice well the public beta 3 and the developer beta 6 came this week as while i'm shooting this video so next week we can expect to see rc update because as you can see build number already has a at the end so i don't think there is going to be another beta i think there is going to be the rc update next week or maybe the other week after maybe on 21st october but for sure we are going to see 18.1 on 28th of october so rc is coming maybe on 14th october or 21 october 21st october and final release will be there on 28th of october these are the 28th of October is pretty much confirmed. Now, these are my theories. That is what I believe. Well, what iOS version you are using, let me know in the comment section below. I have already installed 18.1 public beta 3 slash developer beta 6. I was getting a lot of comments that how is the battery life? How is the performance? You need to understand the update is out yet. I will definitely post videos about the battery life and the performance but it will take at least one day to test out how the battery is. So give me a one day, I will test out each and everything of this device. I will run different applications and use it throughout my day so I can get to know about that how is the battery life. Also, there is a small change I want to mention. When you go to the settings and when you go to the battery over here, this change is available with the iOS 18 this is slightly orange slightly yellowish color that is not of low power mode it is of slow charging so if you connect any slow charger in the settings in the battery section now it will show that that the charger is low it a small simple update but it is going to be very useful for many people well this is all from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one until then take care peace out